What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about Evolution X 4.3 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Some of you may go as far as to say this is your favorite ROM with lots of customization options available, the extended long battery life. Who would disagree with that? But there is no perfect ROM. So without further ado, let's get into it guys. Perfect. Perfect. When we first get into the home screen, you'll notice how nice and smooth it feels. That's because it comes packed with the Pixel Launcher pre-installed. Now, I did check the display and the 90 frames per second, 90 hertz seems to be working fine here. Nothing really to complain about. If we talk about apps, this ROM comes with two cameras, the stock Oxygen OS and the Google camera. Now this is great as a lot of people prefer those two cameras. Those are the best options available in my opinion. Strangely enough though, there was a black theme Reddit app pre-installed as well. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything. I use Reddit, so it's it's a plus for me. But I don't know about you guys. Quick note, guys. I didn't install Magis, but when I went ahead and set up Google Pay, it went through the whole setup process, and I can confirm that it's working here. And I love that. Talking about two apps, we also have two screen recording apps here. Again, not a complaint, just stating the obvious. We do have the Oxygen OS built-in recorder. I tried both and both seems to be working great with internal sound recording. Now the battery on this ROM is insane guys. As we speak, I haven't been able to kill this battery yet. I still have like 20% left and it's still going. Now I credit that to the aggressive dose because yes, it barely sips on any battery juice, but sometimes when you double tap after you wake up your device, nothing. You have to reach to the power button to turn on the screen and then it works fine. It's a trade off that honestly, I'm willing to make for longer battery life, but I know some of you might not like that. I just thought I'd mention it. If we move on, we do have the face unlock and it's working great here too. But as always guys, just be careful because face unlock is secure as your fingerprint. If we move on to the OnePlus settings here, we have DC dimming. We also have the high brightness mode and we also have panel modes here. The options we have available here are sRGB mode. We also get a DCI P3. We get the night mode and what I choose, which is the white color mode. We also have touchscreen gestures. So you guys could assign all your favorite gestures there. We have an auto refresh mode here where you could have the app switch from 60 to 90 or we have the force 90 hurts at all time and that's what i always choose we also have the frame per second overlay here and we do get your notification slider options here and we also get a vibrator strength here now the notification or the vibration here is not really good if you put it on strong vibration so just be careful with that guys because it makes a nasty rattling sound if you have a strong vibration so I always keep it at low Let's go to the Evolver settings. If we move on to themes here, you have the option to choose the accent color. You have all these options here that you could choose from, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's something for everyone here. There's so many options available, guys. We also have the accent color picker just in, in case you want to choose your own color. We also have dark theme styles, so it's a preset of dark theme styles for you to choose from choose what you like. We could also change the icon shape. We have these options available and we also get the fonts. We get a lot of options here. So choose whatever you like. And if we go to status bar icon, you could choose for rounded, filled, or whatever you like. We also do get a header image here. Now, if you choose a header image, every time you pull down your, your quick settings, you'll see a header on top. You could also customize and put your own. I, I decided to just leave it as random. So, and also under new tint style, if you notice how it changes colors in, when you turn it on, I like that a lot. So I left it on, you see, it changes the colors and everything. We also could blur or we could make the quick settings uh, see-through if you like. If we go to status bar, we have the clock options. Again, we could auto hide your clock. We could also choose where you want your clock. If you're on the center, left or right, you could choose your AM, PM, your clock date, format, color, style. You know, we could also choose if you want the date on the left or the right. If we go to network traffic here, you can turn that on. We also have rounded corners in case you guys want to adjust them. We go to status bar items here. You, you know the usual, we turn on and off. We also have the status bar logo that you could choose from. We have so many options here that you guys could choose whatever you like. I'm going to choose the Google logo and put it on the left. As you can see, bam, it's there. Let's go to 
battery style here you could choose from all these different options we could choose a circle with field we could choose text we could just hit we could just choose the circle and the big circle with the text inside for me i love the icon with the portrait with the percentage inside so i'll keep that we have battery percentage while charging and we have other options available like the volt lte icon and the voiceover lte style that you could choose from and these are the options if we move on to notifications we have the heads up display we get the pulse notifications you can customize your color you can choose to blink for incoming calls as well we go to quick settings here we got all your quick settings options like vibrate on touch quick pull down hide the battery your brightness slider your brightness icons and even change the layout if you want If we go to power menu here we get those options that you can enable so when you long press in your power button those are the options that you will get also advanced restart that's always a must guys turn it on you'll have the ability to go straight to the bootloader or the recovery so that way you don't have to be pressing or holding buttons to get into it or that's always a plus for me if we go to gestures here we could choose from the system navigation gestures we do get all three again you know choose whatever you like we do have other options available as you can see we also have the screen, the swipe to screenshot, brightness control, and we also get the touch gesture like screen off. We also get the option to hold the power button to turn on and off the torch. And to me, that's always something that I always turn on. If we move on to lock screen, we do have the pocket detection, fingerprint, authentication, vibration. You could also choose your favorite icon if you want to use any of those. You also choose the animation and you could choose any of those options there for your animation. You know me, I love McLaren, so I'm keeping that. And you also get to choose the fingerprint press effect and we have those options there you get to choose the charging info the shortcuts you could hide icons here you also have charging animations and these are the options there we have the flash battery drop explosion and water so whichever one you like that's up to you and if we move on to navigation here we have again the system navigation we could invert the layout we have home long press options double tap options actions recent we have the volume keys to answer under animations we do have all these options but i don't mess with those if we go to miscellaneous we do have a gaming mode and we have all these options to you know disable notification feedback disable automatic brightness etc etc and you can even choose what games will trigger the gaming mode so you could choose your games and do not be disturbed while gaming and that's a big plus so moving on we do have the launch the music app for the headset connection wake up on charge charging animation and a screenshot type here you could choose your dose settings so if you want to have a brighter you can mess with some of the dose settings which i don't because it's already good as it is one thing to note though the security system update is kind of outdated it shows september 2019 but you know hopefully it'll be updated soon so we could have the latest security update now what can i say about this rom guys this rom is really great has lots of customizations it has great battery you know it's not perfect we know that but it's really great and for anybody that likes to customize their the rom make it their own they'll feel right at home with this rom now guys with all that being said thank you guys for watching my videos thank you guys for everything and anybody that watches the videos consider subscribing i will really appreciate that so with that being said guys i'll see you guys in the next video bye